news uh, with regards to the BCCI chief selector Chetan Sharma's resignation. He's resigned from his post. Uh, he sent his resignation to the BCCI secretary Jay Shah, who has in fact accepted it. Let me quickly go across to Karishma joining us with more details. Karishma, was this routine or any particular reason that you can detail for us? Well, Chris Sween, it was not routine at all. In fact, there was a sting operation that was done on Mr. Chetan Sharma, chairman of selectors. And after that, he has resigned from his post of chairman of selectors. The resignation was sent uh, to the BCCI secretary, Jay Shah, and he has accepted uh, this uh, resignation. So, of course, Chetan Sharma uh, talking about, you know, how uh, the Indian cricketers are uh, doping or they are talking about, he's in fact talking about how uh, Jaspreet Bhumra cannot uh, play for for a long time because of his uh, medical concerns and he cannot bend. There was a host of other things that was also said by Chetan Sharma in the sting operation that was uh, done on him and on uh, the sidelines of that. Uh, just a few days after that sting operation, Chetan Sharma today has resigned from his post of uh, chairman of selectors and what we are being told is that his resignation was sent last night to Jay Shah and he has accepted it with immediate effect. This is something that has been confirmed uh, by the BCC treasurer Mr. Ashish Shalar as well uh, to Times now. So of course India will be looking for a new uh, chairman of selectors. And Chris Sween, if we talk about timeline of Chetan Sharma, he was sacked by the BCCI, then reappointed as the chairman of uh, selectors just a while back. And now again, he has resigned because he said certain things which he shouldn't have publicly uh, uh, said or that sting in that sting operation that was made public a few days ago. So clearly oh. Chetan Sharma paying the price of that and having to resign from his post okay. of chairman of selectors. So being